Hello everyone, I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to do some live deck building for my playthrough of the Feast of Hemlock Vale here on the channel. That's going to happen in just a few days, but I thought I would spend some time with you talking about how I build decks, and the actual decks I'll be building today uh, will be Akachi and Ursula. So let's get right into it. I'm thinking about what I want to do for this for the last few days, and I'm not totally sure, so I'll be sharing with you, you know, how I, I think about what I want to do with these kinds of decks. So Akachi is a 5-2-3-3 investigator in terms of stats, 6 healths, and 8 sanity. Very, very simple ability, which I like to play with some simple investigators when I play a campaign I'm not so familiar with. Anyway, she has your assets with uses charges. Enter play with one additional charge on them. That's it. Uh, Elder Sign Effect plus 1, add a charge to an asset with uses charges you control. Deck size, 30. Mystic cards, 0 to 5. Neutral cards, 0 to 5. And cards with uses, charges, level 0 to 4. And occult cards, level 0. All right, I, I want her to fight. That that's kind of what she's here to do. Ursula uh, is not really a fighter. So Ursula over here is uh, 3, 4, 1, 4. Uh, 7 health, 7 sanity. After you move to location, take an investigate action. Any investigate action can be on an asset, can be an event limit once per round. Um, and her Elder Sign lets you move. 30 deck size. She's got 0 to 5 Seeker. Relic cards 0 to 4. So they're kind of similar in this way in that they have some off-class options that are interesting and have gotten more interesting, I think, as the card pool has expanded. I will be using the entire card pool because why not? I have played these investigators before. I've not played them in a while. So um, I kind of remember what I've done with them before, and I'm probably going to do something somewhat similar, but I'd like to focus on the cards in the last two sets. I think I didn't play, I haven't played them in probably since before Scarlet Keys came out. So, uh, Akachi and Ursula have some new cards. So let's take a look at what's in the card pool, at least for them, and see if we can get some ideas of what we want to do. For Ursula, I guess it's also worth saying that her ally, um is the special card first move or investigate action you perform each turn does not provoke a tax opportunity and after you reveal a location or put a location new location into play you get to exhaust jake williams and draw cards so that's kind of like her play style is usually move and investigate every round we want to add things to supplement that to make that better to take advantage of that otherwise why are we playing ursula and the same thing with the relics, right? We want to have a good chunk of relics in our deck. Otherwise, why are we playing Ursula? I mean, I think her stat line's good. And the fact that she has uh, four agility means that she can deal with enemies a little bit. And Akachi also has that extra stat point. And being a mystic, she uh, can do a lot of things, not just dealing with enemies, although that's what I want her to do. I think in two-player, I don't want them to be so separate, like doing completely different things. Uh, especially since Ursula can go off on her own. And you may ask, like, why am I playing them at all? How did I pick them for my uh, campaign playthrough? Well, um, I haven't played a Seeker or a Mystic in a little while on the channel. I just played a couple of Rogues that were kind of similar in terms of how I built them. So I want to do something a little different, although uh, for a campaign I'm not so familiar with, I try to, to as I said, keep things simple and not do things too creatively. Uh, we'll, we'll see where this goes, I think. So we want things with charges with Akachi. Her, her special card also is uh, choosing an asset you have and either return it to your hand or you discard the asset and get a bunch of resources. Um, it's kind of neat. And I don't, it's, it's kind of neat for, for certain cases. I don't think it's something you build around. And the same thing with Jake, like, uh, it's nice to have an extra ally. He costs a lot. He's a lot of soak. Um, drawing the card is cool. Um, I think he's just sort of informative about like what the deck wants to do. And and uh, let's take a look at what cards are in the last two sets. So Scarlet Keys and Feast of Hemlock Vale. Maybe get some ideas. A uh, chemistry set could be an investigate that Ursula does maybe 
Charles West, this is the whole tool thing. I don't think we need or want this. I don't think we want to build around tools because that's not what Ursula wants. She wants relics. Um, this is everything. Oh, Hunter's Armor. This is not a relic yet. It's kind of funny that it shows up here. I guess it's, it's only a relic if you take the enchanted upgrade. And this is kind of neat. Maybe for, for Hex Drinker, so you can put uh, eight boxes here, I think, since you get a level four relic. This is one of them. This can be three more. You don't have to do everything, I guess. You could do the Durable and Hallowed. Okay. That's an idea. I'm going to stick this over on the side deck. I think that's a cool idea. Ah. <laughs> that's cool that it shows up, though. Because it is an option. Um, I love Xanatos. Hmm microscope and then this is kind of interesting because she can evade enemies and akachi can defeat them and this could be the double action can cost less essentially because you have the extra action um okay i just said i don't want to do tools but that's an idea uh grim memoirs is kind of busted right this is a good card that you can use the investigate on and let's throw it over on the side. Empirical Hypothesis. I mean, this card's just good. It's really good. Let's see what our upgrades are. Entering a location with three or more shrouds. She wants to move. Peer review. Other people can draw the cards off of Empirical Hypothesis. Um could use it to reduce the cost of cards you play by three. But, uh, it's hard to say no to this card, right? Well, let's throw it over in the, the side deck. Uh, Mouse Mask. Okay, I gotta take this, right? This is Ursula's ability, right? Uh, not Ursula's ability, but it's Jake's ability, right? That That's the same idea, so kind of double dipping. Replenish one of these offerings after you reveal location or put a new location into play. Yeah, we actually want these. Well, let's just stick it in the deck. Which reminds me, we might want Wit and Green then. Also the same trigger. And gets you the plus one when you have a Tome or Relic. It gets you the Tome or Relic. I think we have to play Wit and Green. Okay, now we're back to everything again. Let's go back to Just Things in the Scarlet Keys or Beast of Hemlock Vale. Maybe we play this. Maybe we play the Ravenous Mike in it. Uh, we tried this in my first playthrough with Kate, and we just never found it. But maybe I can do a little bit of extra work trying to draw cards. Only one. And the upgrades are pretty sweet. Uh, the, uh, the Uncanny Growth is an Investigate. We could be using Ursula's Extra Investigate to do the... Uh, Uncanny growth. It's a, it's an event. Sounds good. Research notes. I don't think I want to do... I don't want to do that. Rarod of Karnamagos. Well, okay. Here's a question. Is this a curse team? We've got Seeker. We've got Mystic. They have a lot of curse generation I'm kind of a coward with with curses. I don't know if I want to. I'm going to think about it. So we got some cool options here on both of the investigators. We could take the curse spells for Akachi. Uh, then we really have to do a lot of other things with our deck to make the curse stuff work. And if I don't want to play those cards, you don't just throw in these things randomly. But man, it's a relic. Don't think she wants to use the Runic X. Not playing that card. Um, map the area for two player. I mean, this is good for for Ursula, right? We're adding some good numbers together. It's a an investigate action. It's good. 
Well, let's throw it in the side deck. Depends on what we're doing with the events. We have so many ideas of things we could put in here. Uh, Captivating Discovery. That's the one where we search for cards. We're not a clue drop deck. We don't need to do that. Bide your time. I don't think we need to do that for, for Ursula. She should always have something to do. Okay, the whole double thing, right? It's an extra action to investigate almost every round. And because she's moving, investigating your location, each connecting location. I I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over in the side deck. This is an interesting idea. And actually for that matter, maybe thorough inquiry is a good idea too. I kind of like that. Let's put Thorough Inquiry in. Transmogrify. I don't think we need it. I think I would rather do this at in a group where we have a lot of clues on location, so a lot of investigators in the team. Don't think we need this. I like the card, though. And I still want to play with it. Just don't think it's necessary. I'm already thinking about stuffing too many things in here. Um, are there parlay actions that I actually want to take? No, I don't think we need to do that. I think we're okay. Well funded. Uh, we don't have enough science or tools, I think. I think three or more to make it worth it. No. We'll find some other skills. Okay, uh, what about the level one through five cards? Like, what are we trying to get here? Binder's Jar? No, that could be for, for, for uh, Akachi. Eyes of Volusia. No, we're not playing this in two-player. Mailson. Here's why you play the, the curse stuff. I think we're okay with the ally. Flashlight. Gray's Anatomy. It's a tome. Witten could find a tome. Eh, okay, maybe. Lab coat. Oh. And there's an interesting idea. We've got so many of these um, tests on cards. Succeed by zero or fail by one or less. I don't think this is the deck for it. I kind of like the idea. I, I can see why, but like the Ravenous Magnet, this thing, this wants you to succeed by a lot. So like succeeding by zero doesn't help you. Testing sprint. Failed by one. You have to fail by exactly one or zero. I don't think so. Uh, the upgraded microscope, maybe. It gets you a lot of clues. Three additional clues. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. The problem with this is I don't know if we have enough clues on locations. I guess two per gets you all of them. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's a reason to go for microscope, but I'm not sure. Orphic theory. Yes, I wish uh, Akachi could take this honestly. Um. Who knows. Occult Reliquary. This can give you extra hand slots for blessed or cursed assets. Or accessory. Arcane we probably don't care about. Hmm. Okay. We'll think about that. That might be good for, for Akachi. Yeah, this is one of those cursed relics. Mm. I don't know which Ravenous Mike we would get, but I, I don't know. Steady Hand I don't think we need... Oh, you could succeed by one more to get the growth higher. Cute. Is is the Ravenous Myconid a science? It is here, but I don't think the upgrades are. No, they are, they are. Okay. Hmm, the well-funded is actually... I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. 
three or more science or tool. No, that's it's not enough. I think I would take it later if we need to add skills to our deck, the uh, ancestral knowledge I'm thinking about here. The surgical kit. Sorry, I think I hit the microphone. Um, maybe. Confound. The evade here could proc microscope. Dawn Star. Again, this is if we're running curses. I don't want to do it. Existential Riddle. This makes an enemy aloof. Okay. Fine tuning. Attach to a tool or science asset you control after it exhausts. Exhaust it. Ready the asset. Oh, you know what? Empirical hypothesis is science. Jeez. To do it. I don't want to put well funded in yet, but I might end up doing it. Guidance. I don't think we need this. Esoteric method. No. All right. That's everything for the last two sets. That seems interesting to me. Um, we have a lot of. I, I just want to play more new cards, right? Ones that I haven't played before. And. Hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of that and just look at all the relics. What are all of the relics in the game? At level zero. Oh gosh, do we do we play? No, we're not playing this. No. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Crystallizer is a pretty good pick for Ursula, especially with all of these events. Okay. So after you play an event, it basically becomes like a skill card. Relic, we can find it. We need to find a bunch of tomes or relics. Hmm. Maybe. Decorated skull. This could go to Akachi, honestly. Yeah, it's not going to go to Ursula. We could play Hallowed Mirror. We could also play the level 3 one. Um, Events? Yeah, I mean, we could... That could go with the crystallizer. We need a lot of. Uh, is this blessed? <laughs> it's blessed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get like two x relic hunter on both of these, right? <laughs> both of these investigators, the forbidden tome. Um, it's a relic and a tome. I don't think we need this. Although actually, the upgraded one is kind of funny because then you can move, get a clue, and also do your investigate. Honestly, not bad. It's not great. Moonstone? We can't play it. Sword cane? No. No, thank you. The Chthonian Stone. Oh, Tooth of Edsley. Mm, nah, I'll just throw it in for now. We might get rid of it. Raven Quill is a relic. <clears throat> Does that work with Witten? Does she need... It's an, it's an asset. I mean, it would attach to a spell or tome. Yeah, okay. She only finds assets. We're not doing that. The Chthonian Stone, this is where you seal something. Mm. Cute, but I think we could get the upgraded one instead. I like the hollowed mirror idea. Maybe. There's not much else here. Okay, what else we got? Ancient stone. Ancient stone for damage, for healing horror, for move, for moving. Draw a card, move, investigate with the uh, empirical hypothesis. Woo. Hmm. I've never played with this card because I'm so uncomfortable with it. I think it's just way too good. Crystalline Elder Sign. I just played with this card for the first time, and I liked it. It's blessed. <laughs> that great skull we talked about. Uh, I don't think we need this empty vessel. You know, I've never played with this card, and I keep meaning to. The problem is that I have never drawn it. Does limit once one per deck. It can't go to Ursula, but maybe this is an Akachi card. 
has uses zero charges. I'm going to put it over here just because it might be fun to build around it over here. Okay. Uh, the Enchanted Blades could go to Okachi as well. Eon chart, that's just good. It's just more of what you want. I have the Jin. This is if I were running Bless or Curse. Eyes of Illusion, we saw it already. You know, is this that bad? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it, it's not good. I don't think it's good enough to make the deck. Gurta statues are cool. I don't think we need them. I'm going to put this over on the side because I think it's interesting. Uh, this is also interesting. I don't think we want to run the symbol stuff. I think... I think that's not what I want these decks to do. I think if I were running, like, full... Symbol manipulation, token manipulation, I would do it, but I, I'm, I'm not. I don't think. Maybe this makes it in anyway. Otherworldly compass. Mm, there's another one of these uh, relics with an investigate on it. Necotic manuscripts. Real expensive. It's a tome. It's a relic. Uh, kind of good for, like, the succeed by stuff. Who knows? I'm not playing this card. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh no. I don't think I'm gonna play it. Segment of Onyx? That's another card that probably shouldn't exist. Shining Trap is a Hedron. Yeah, if you haven't seen what this does, it automatically gets a clue, evades an enemy, or move to a location or something. That that's what the once you get all three together. I mean it's not that easy to get it all, but no thanks. I'd like to play things that I didn't play with Monterey Jack as well, because he could get relics, right? Um Black Fan would have been great in him. I don't think we need this in Ursula. Don't think we have the money for it, but we could. We could build a deck that does it. Chthonian Stone level uh three, this one it's cursed. We have a hand slot for it, maybe. There's a lot of good relics. Uh, this is like a battery for... This could go into to Kachi also. Hmm. Is it cursed or anything? No. Skeleton Key is cursed. That's not worth it at, at uh, level... Or at two player. Yeah, there, there's stuff here. This could also go to Kachi. Um... I haven't seen that much though healing maybe obviously the eon charts i think the ancient stones are interesting i gotta think about that that seems like i could with a hand slot for it i would get this one i don't want to get the other one i think it's it's a bit much how do we translate this? We need a level one card. It plus three shot for this investigation. She succeed, discover an additional clue, discard this, and then you record the difficulty. Okay. Maybe I do this. That's all the relics. So what are we doing with this deck? Maybe we play the hunter's armor. Maybe we get Eon Charts, Ancient Stones, maybe. Uh, okay, so is this enough to run Witten Green? What is, like, the thing we want? Do we want to go with the Crystallizer and throw a bunch of events in here? That does seem kind of fun. Can we ever take advantage of this um, enemy that shows up, the Guardian, the Crystallizer? Or do we just kill it? I mean, Confound, right? Confound could be funny with this, I guess. D 
do we throw in some interesting events? So is, how does this work? It's when you, after you play an event, so discovery, okay, fine. Um, a lot of good events in Seeker. Let's go with the level zero ones. And do I want to play Barricade? There's reasons to do it. I could play Astounding Revelations. This is the part where now I'm, I'm like, I've, I've got an idea. I think I want to build around this mouse mask, right? Wit and green. And we need to be drawing tomes and relics and then recharging this. I don't know if the... I think we, we have the tooth. Um, I think we we do this. I think the testing sprint makes it. Because I want to try it. It only costs one. costs two actions. That's okay. So this stuff doesn't cost too much. But for running Crystallizer of Dreams, which is, let's, let's do it, we want to put Burning the Night Oil in because it's economy, right? And we want events with icons, so I don't want to get, uh, I don't want emergency cash. I want the other one. What's the other one? Um, cryptic writings. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, we have seventeen cards already. How are we investigating? We are investigating using events, our extra action, our. microscope I can't find it maybe we just have to lean into to this what's the uh what's the tome um Ceylano or something how do you spell it there okay when we have five more cards in hand you get plus one intellect ten or more you get hmm it's one cost it's better than magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. So either I do this, or maybe the empirical hypothesis makes it in here, and magnifying glass, and the other one, the well-funded. Or maybe we do that later. I don't know. We have 21 cards. I think we want to fill out a few more events and then a bunch of skills because this is probably not enough events for crystallizer yeah this is like <laughs> maybe too many things going on here maybe something has to be, be cut okay so <laughs> i like i like this i think it's fun i don't know if it's good this is a tome we just don't have any other relics, right? Where are our relics? One, two, three. I mean, okay, there's six. There's six. Maybe we add something else in later. Yeah, the hunter's armor we can throw in once we get some XP. We'll think about if we're doing in the thick of it also. Uh, we'll come back to this deck in a second once we do a little bit more. Um, So show me the other events at level zero. Connect the dots again. I don't need to do that. Um, Although, you know what? I could play, could play crafty at level three, and I can play for insight, tool, or trick cards. The ravenous myconid thing is an insight. Tool or trick. Insight. 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 Maybe we go back and get the magnifying glasses. This is kind of neat for any test though, right? It's not just investigating. Five or more cards in hand. Do we play big hand? Do we put laboratory system in here? And play events with Farsight? This is like too many deck ideas, right? Ancient stone. Look at this. Look at this. This is too much. All right, 23 cards. We're thinking about putting a Farsight in. We've already decided on the Crystallizer, I think, I think. Um, so we, we put locations into play. We get to recharge our mouse mask. We get to look for a relic. And then we have a large hand. We get to play things like Cryptic Writings. 
What happened to Sounding Revelation? It's more econ. More econ. Place a secret on an asset I control. I don't have those. We could play Grim Memoir, but I don't think we will. So let's just say we don't play a Standing Revelation. Okay. So we're going to take a bunch of basic investigates and a few of these. Do I have any other events that investigate? Let's see. Unearth the Ancients. Level 2, maybe. Vantage point. I'll play it. So a bunch of these have good icons. Their inquiry in particular makes me really want to play with the Crystallite. Five cards left. I think we need to throw some skills in. So uh, we don't have enough science. <laughs> it's a science card. Of course it's a science card. What are we cutting? Do we cut the empirical hypothesis? It's so good. It draws so many cards. It could be useful for Akachi because she cannot draw cards. So, Witten finds us a Tooth of Etsley, a Crystallizer of Dreams, a Slena of Fragments, and nothing else. We could just have lots of actions. We play the Ancient Stone. We take two of these. We This is going to be four, eight XP. Maybe only get one? I don't know, man. Uh, this is going to cost a bunch of XP also... This is why it takes forever to, to build decks, right? Has a half hour in. I haven't decided anything. Uh, let's look at our skills. Inquiring mind. Maybe that's just better. Oh, no, no, no. We play take Eureka, maybe. Now we take deduction for sure. We take perception. True understanding, maybe? Man, I hate this part. Okay, I mean, like, those are just, like, fine skills, and then we cut one thing. And then we put this away for a second. Maybe only one laboratory system. Because maybe we're going to play... If we're playing Farsight, like, what are we dumping? I don't know, this is, like, too many things. I like Farsight and Crystallizer. This seems like an interesting combination, but maybe we don't need the Ravenous Myconid. But that's what we can play Farsight with, right? Maybe we don't take the Empirical Hypothesis. It's, it's really good, though. I think we, we cut it. We cut it for now. So this looks good. This is Miskatonic. Miskatonic. We, we could take Miskatonic Archaeology Funding. This, I think, is okay. We have some events, and we take one more card. We can take a single copy of... True understanding, well-funded. I'm also thinking about, like, hiking boots, right? I don't, know. I don't have room for all this stuff, right? One copy of Eureka. All right. We have built a, an Ursula Downs deck. Is it good? Probably not. Okay, over here. That Ursula deck was so heavy on clues that maybe we just need to go all in on fighting here. I don't want to do that, though. I really don't. I want to put, like, Right of Seeking. I feel like this is the best. It's not cheap. It's probably the best spell to put in for a fighter because you just need the one action. Uh, yes, okay. So we cancel a... Uh, where is... Where is this card? All right, show me Empty Vessel. So the Wish Eater that it turns into when you reveal one of these symbol tokens during the skill test, you spend a charge, cancel that token, and heal a damage and a horror. That's really good, right? 
So we can play Rite of Seeking, we can cancel one of those, and then we do not lose our turn. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are we fighting with? The classic is like, we do a Dragon Pull build. So we have additional Arcane slot, we fill our Arcane slots with a bunch of stuff, and then we hit with 3 Punch plus 2 or something. Uh, so we put Living Ink. Living Ink here. This is the customizable one. It is really good. Um, plus 1 to the Chosen Skill. So we would probably put, if we buy this now, uh, we probably put Punch into this. And then we want to leave this around. We want to put it into an arcane slot, right? We want this imbued ink. Okay, let's let's go with that. What else can we put in our arcane slots? Yeah, I should have said like, what are the new cards? <laughs> what are the new cards? Uh, we did this for for uh, for Ursula. We'll do it here. Cat mask. Those are the two ones we want. Maybe we play this. Maybe we play one of them. Maybe we play two. Oh, Fuda. Nope, this is a blessed token. I don't think we want the charms. This is going to... Our dragon pulls going to take up our, our hand slots, I think. Unless we had a rod of Karnamagos, which we're not going to do. Um, Runic Axe as a backup. Maybe. The Servitor. No. Wicked of Thame. Curses. Antediluvian Hymn. No, nope. Curses. Drain Essence. I think I would not play this unless I didn't have Spectral Razor, which I will definitely put in. Do not forget to put in Spectral Razor. It has Akachi on the art, and it's really good. Three damage to non elite, so you get the free engage. It's You just put it in the deck. In fact... Hat Mask, Arcane Initiate. I'm tempted to put in like the Familiar Spirit, but let's just go with this first. Uh, let's go back to our Feast of Hemlock Vale or the Scarlet Keys. Hollow Chalice? I don't think Ursula needs to get healed. We have the, 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 the armor, maybe. Gosh, is there room for the armor in here? A fun idea. Maybe we do need to heal. Eldritch initiation. No. Power. No. We're fine. I I I don't think so. I don't think it's worth a spot in the deck. String of curses, though. Maybe that goes with our cat mask. She's not even, I don't think there's too many Doom enemies in this campaign, but maybe this is a way to get a clue. And then we just kill it next round or something. Maybe so. Alright, honestly, not much in here. What about level 1 to 5? Astral Mirror. Uh, this is... No, empty arc. That, that doesn't work. Bestow Resolve. Ooh. Uh, commit a card. It comes in with five charges. Binder jar. Binder's jar gives us more arcane slots. I think we want to do that. We need to fill these arcane slots, so we need to think about that. We could put two living inks in them. Side deck. Uh, this is probably just going to get into the deck somehow. I would play this. I would play this for the three curses. I'm not... Uh, sorry. I would play this and say, oh well, about the three curses. I think recharging an asset is really good. Why is this a double? I feel like this should be a double. Because you get to replenish and then resolve an action ability. Uh, we have an upgraded Spectral Razor. I don't know if we're going to be able to play that because of the symbol thing. But the level 0 is perfectly fine. Uncage the Soul. 
Yeah, we're going to play that. I don't think there's anything else in here that looks that good. I don't think so. Not for this deck. Okay, then we're going to do the whole, what are all of the, uh, you know, we just look at the off-class ones. What's off-class that we can play? A Cyclopean Hammer. It's not off-class. Because we want to play the Empty Vessel. Enchanted Blade probably makes the cut. That's a level zero. We'll just look at the ones up here for a second. Uh, Rogue Decorated Skull is interesting. Are there enough enemies or allies? Yes, I think there are. Red Clock? Probably not. Although it's funny, you get to... It, it starts with one charge, right? Right? One additional charge on them. And then... <laughs> The next turn, you, you miss the plus three skill value. That's so funny. I think these we don't need. Seeker. If I really had nothing to spend my XP on, I guess this is good. We're not going to play those. And that's that. Survivor. Bangle of Jinxes is cursed. After an enemy attacks you. Maybe. I think we might need this. It's cheap. Okay, we'll 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 think about it. All right. So now I want all of the anything that takes up an arcane slot. Let's see. So what are the cheapest things we could play? Probably in Mystic, right? Uh, let's go to level zero and the cost. So we got Alchemical Transmutation. This is a way to get resources, and it stinks. The level two one is actually OK. So there's a world in which we play this and upgrade it. Uh, we want to sort by cost. Scrying. Speak to the dead. This actually is kind of neat if I were playing with curses. Spend any number of offerings, parlay, choose a spell or ritual event, so we could bring back like a war protection or something, or one of these guys. I'm interested. Hard to find. Talent or ritual. I'm not that interested. I'm not interested anymore. Healing words or clarity of mind, we don't want those. Probably not. I think I'd rather take the uh, Earthly Serenity. I mean, the one extra charge goes so much further in Akadshi when it's not the Edge of the Earth spells, though. That's the part that sucks. What are we putting in here, anyway? Uh, we could put a Summon Servitor in here. No. Talisman Protection. Might as well. It's fast. Our thing went away. No, not accessory. Arcane. And we were sorting the cost. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so we got a way to evade, but I don't think we need that. We probably take like an Azure Flame or a Shriveling. We want to take the Shriveling because of the thing I just talked about earlier about these symbols. We'll just put them in there. Wither, it doesn't make any sense. I think we put the Enchanted Plades in, right? I think we just have them. We can't play them and the Dragon Pole, right? This is not Cursed or Blessed. This is not Cursed or Blessed. We have no way to get extra hand slots. Okay. Uh, I think we got to do a little better than this level zero. I think. We need something else that's cheap. Maybe we actually play this. Or the scrying? This doesn't do enough, I don't think. This one gets an extra charge. So does this. 
So does, this doesn't get an extra charge. These are offerings. Okay, we're playing those. We have 21 cards, and we have not much going on. We need to... We badly need to find our dragon bolt. <laughs> uh, ritual... Spell, spell, spell. Okay, the arcane initiative probably is is good enough. We'll put wards in here. I like wards. And are we an arcane research or down the rabbit hole deck? So far, would I pay five XP with down the rabbit hole for empty vessel? Maybe. We probably need to have guts in this deck we probably need like, commit this to <laughs> to uh, ursula uh fearless gets in if we take some mental trauma uh all right piece of luck veil there are six scenarios and five times to upgrade is that true Six scenarios. So after scenario, before scenario two, before scenario three, before scenario four, so before scenario five, and before scenario six. No, there's there's one more. There's one more space to upgrade your deck. So it might actually be six times upgrade. So I think either of them are okay. One, two, three, that's six. We're good. We can we can we can do that. Obviously down the right hole would be the same thing, but wouldn't give us any trauma. Maybe I don't care about the trauma. Maybe I take it in the thick of it anyway. Mm, I don't know. Okay, we put NK to the soul in because we wanted the level zero version. Yeah. I think that's still good. Okay. We have built every mystic deck that we've ever seen. Anything fun? Our ally is not great. We have two things to fight with we've got one right of seeking i don't think we have a whole lot of actions here that's maybe like a good reason to put in um close the circle all right it's so boring do we put in torn power no i don't think so prophecy promise power sure uh, and then we put in fearless we put in Fearless, we put in Arcane Research, and we put in a second copy of Cat Mask. Wow, this is... Mm, I mean, the Living Ink, I think, might be fun. Okay, we just badly need to find the Dragon Pole, and we have no way to do it. We have no way to find this thing. But we do have the Enchanted Blade, we do have the... Uh, the shriveling. We do have the string of curses and spectral razors. We have the cat mask. It's not terrible. We just really need to find this. Is this good enough for like scenario seven or what or six? I guess. I don't know. I could put down the route hole and arcane research in. just to superpower all of this. No, I'm not going to do that. I think I want to add these sorts of things. I think the decorated skull would be cool. So one thing I don't have here is a uh, holy rosary, right? We have no... Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's actually okay. I think, I think we're going to survive. I think this might be it. This might be it. And Ursula... We've got 30 cards. This looks like a much better deck, though. 
14 assets, 10 events, 7 skills. That seems okay. 19 assets, 8 events, 4 skills. We have economy in Uncaves of Soul. We have string of curses. Uh, it's not likely to get us many resources. We have economy in chemical transmutation. Great. Um, I don't think this is actually a particularly expensive deck, though, right? This costs one. This costs nothing. This costs one. This costs three. This costs one. We want to upgrade these. I think they're kind of good. So enough things to sit in. Yeah, what else do we want? Like Hierophant, maybe? This one? This one lets us put um, more stuff into Arcane slots. I think that's kind of cool. Um, we, maybe we dump the Enchanted Blade at some point for, for this other stuff. The Binder's Jar kind of does the same trick. Okay. Uh, is this good enough? Maybe it is. I feel like there's just like too, too many assets here. 19 is just so many. I like that this is fast. Maybe we don't need this. And we can put in like emergency gash or something. Maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't need this. Nah, it has charges. We do need extra things for charges for our weakness. Our weakness, Angered Spirits, says we need to move charges off of things to... Um, and it doesn't let us take off of Enchanted Blade. It's only off of spells. I think we have to leave these, because these are our only spell assets. It can't come off of the Living Ink either. Maybe we dump the Enchanted Blade. That seems dangerous. If you do, you give so much... Da, da. Four times we get basically to fight at five. I feel like we need an overpower in here. I mean, we have the... We have a cat mask. Okay, remind me. Dragon Pole says we get plus one for the stack for each of our cane slots that it's filled. So we can get three plus three that gets us to six. On standard difficulty, that's enough. This is not the world's best deck, but it's actually kind of okay. Uh, we kind of are leaning on the mask, strangely. We've got Doom here, we've got Doom here. What else can we do with Doom? Prophecy, we just let the agenda, I guess, give us Doom. Um, events, assets, David Renfield. Boy, that's another boring pick, right? <laughs> it's pretty good, though. Uh, we, we could dump the Enchanted Blade and put in the Sickle? We, can, we can't ever play both. I mean, we can't ever play the Enchanted Blade and the Dragon Pole. question is, is this better? This is going to give us four shots at fighting at six. Uh, five. Five. Could be worse. Um, Dave would give us the plus one willpower, which we kind of need for shriveling. Shriveling kind of sucks right now, right? It's at five. And that's as good as the Enchanted Blade is. Yeah, I, hmm. Okay, the blood pact is not good. I can kind of see why it might be, but Sin Eater, this can turn into a Doom deck. Blood pact, the permanent one. Upgraded Sickle. Now nah, this is like, that. This is, that's doing something we don't want to do. We don't want to do this stuff. I think we, we leave it as, 
this and we are just committing a bunch of cards we don't need we need some some uh we need something in in the living ink i think and the shriveling actually all this stuff we need all the upgrades like right now so that leads us to the question of do i take down the rabbit hole and we just never we could put a level zero decorated skulls in never play them we get some upgrades for that we pay extra for binders jar and empty vessel there's only one you can only get one anyway and no oh, we have to put extra stuff into a bunch of permanents we need relic hunters okay we're, we'll be we'll be boring i think and go with the arcane research I'm a little concerned, just a little concerned that this is, doesn't do enough, right? Because we don't have Vicious Flow. We don't have anything that does a bunch of damage, right? Let's think about the Ursula deck again. How does she deal with enemies? She evades them. Walks away. The end. What could we do instead? Mind over matter could punch things. Uh, we've got... There's got to be some events that are interesting to... Not even I got a plan. That's too expensive, I think. Um, am I back to transmogrify? Not playing this again. Okay. We turn an enemy into a massive one, and we get a clue, and we leave. Honestly, I don't need this. I have the I have the the the, the manual dexterity maybe is what I need. Rika. This might be the, the defeat. This might be the carnivorous one then. This might be what this is. Um Yeah, I mean we're gonna see how this goes, right? I think there's probably enough for us to evade and get away from enemies in this deck. I'm a little hmm about this, but it could be okay. Are we ever going to get 10 cards in hand? Probably not, but we can dump this for uh, maybe the Ancient Stones. Maybe Okay, okay. Maybe what we do here is we... Um, take in the thick of it we get rid of these and we put in these and then we have one more XP and we need something to deal with enemies at level one what do we have expose weakness absolutely not is it just for the next attack? It's just the next attack. What a bad card. Look how many good icons are on it, though. Uh, Existential Riddle. Are we a big hand deck? Maybe we are. Okay, hang on. I also don't like... The best it was ever going to give us was plus one, right? Maybe that's just what we get out of our Crystallizer of Dreams. Okay. Um... Level one on the trail. No. Guidance slips. Okay. Nothing there. Um, survey the area. Nope. Level one assets. We can take an Eon chart. We could, we can, we can probably do this and, and be able to move. Hiking boots. Oh man, this is just better. We'll take the hiking boots. And now we need to dump something else. We dump the Eureka. All right. All right. So we want to do the ancient stone here. And then we probably get the move and investigate one when you draw cards. 
Ah, crap. We got rid of the uh, empirical hypothesis. We can put it in later. That's fine. Draw a card. Draw a card. We have ways to draw cards. Draw one or more cards. Are you can tell me that I'm going to spend that many when I draw five cards. I have to spend all of the secrets. Okay, not that. This is drawing a card. Yep. This is drawing two cards. Okay. This is drawing one card. This is drawing one card. It's probably still fine. We might put in the empirical hypothesis later. We might we might do that. All right. I think it has been an hour, and I might call it here. I'm not unhappy with these decks. I think they will actually do something. I'm a little concerned about passing tests at four because we don't have a magnifying glass. But if we can get a mouse mask into play, if we can um, get our wit and green into play, we can get this to be a little bit better. The reason why I'm a little concerned also is we had to, got to pass uh, a test by three for this one, and also by three, well, we need to just pass it all, I guess. Throw a bunch of things into this. I think it's possible. Okay. Let's look at the Ursula deck again. It's possible. <laughs> not a ringing endorsement, is it? I'm just not sure about this Enchanted Blade. I'm really not. What if I take this out and put an Azure Flame in? Then I just don't think I'm passing tests at all. What about the Living Ink becoming uh, Willpower? I'm leaning so hard on the masks. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna run with this. We can always make changes later. I think maybe even something like the Bengal of Jinxes is kind of neat. Um, the like David probably is a better call than the Arcane Initiate. And that, is that what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out the Enchanted Blade and put in David. That's what I'm going to do. He's so good, and I think because I'm leaning on the Cat Mask a little bit more than I should, I think I need uh, more Doom, more Doom play. All right. We're done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being <laughs> witnessing the sort of madness of building a deck here. Um, it's not perfect, right? Like, but I want to sort of lead you through sort of my thoughts about how I want to integrate a number of different things into these decks. Um, we're going to see what happens, right? That's part of the, the fun of Arkham. Uh, I'll be playing through this week. Uh, so on Wednesday, if you're watching this, uh, when I upload this uh, just a few days from now, you'll see the first scenario. We don't know what the first scenario is of Feast of Hemlock Vale. Um, and yeah, join me then.